I recently heard the idea of mastering keyboard shortcuts described as investing in your own time. And this really hit home. So in this video, we're going to take a look at my new brush tool maze and use it to spice up the process. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint Store. So the goal of this maze is to practice painting accurately and using keyboard commands. So I'll begin by zooming in and then using the tab key to hide the interface completely. So from this point forward, it's keyboard shortcuts only. And for the first half of the maze, my goal is going to be to match the color and the diameter. So I'll pick a basic round brush, sample the color, and match the diameter using the keyboard shortcuts. Now here where there's this straight bit, I can hold down the shift key and it makes sure that I snap to the Y axis. So now I'll sample the new color, enlarge my brush, and hold the shift key to make that straight line. And then I'll make a new stroke and begin painting carefully on this curve. So I'll sample the new color, shrink my brush down, hold down shift for that straight line. New stroke, hold down shift. Shift again. And then here for this organic stuff, I'm just carefully drawing inside the lines. So using Alt, I'll switch the color. Same diameter. And then here another straight bit, I'll hold down Shift. Selecting the new color, this is a much bigger diameter. And then it turns a hard corner, so I'll use Shift again. Select the new color, even bigger. Select the new color, smaller this time. And then I'll select the new color, even smaller still. New color, a bit bigger this time. And you notice that I'm moving the screen around using the space bar. This allows me to zoom in, but also navigate around my document. Very handy. And here I'll switch to black for the next phase of the course. This is going to be sort of like a dot to dot if you ever did those children's books. So I'll use click, shift click to draw a straight line. Click, shift click, and on and on like this, using the space bar to move around my document. And I'm following the numbers, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, just like this. And then here we are at the beginning again. So obviously what I've created here is not a beautiful painting. It's really no different than a pianist practicing their scales before they start working, or maybe a soccer player doing some passing drills. It's just working on the fundamentals. And I really believe that using keyboard shortcuts will get to the point where you're not thinking about it. It's just part of painting. And if you can get there, you'll paint much better because you can focus on the creative stuff. So I'd suggest that a drill like this is a great mindless way to just do some muscle memory. Get used to those keyboard shortcuts. So maybe try one or two laps around this before you start painting, and then maybe one or two laps afterwards, just as a way to get those ingrained. So make sure to download the template at the bottom of the page and give it a try. Thanks for watching.